man pushing for term limits is defense attorney and local activist Robin Ficker. He recently delivered a box full of signatures to the county executive's office supporting his petition to add a term limit question to the November ballot. 18,000 signatures signed by residents of Montgomery County. If approved, voters will have the opportunity to decide if county council members and the county executive's position should be limited to three consecutive terms. I'm defending the people of Montgomery County against a lack of any fresh ideas from the council. I'm defending the people of Montgomery County against a lack of any progress on improving I-270. Montgomery County Council members have openly opposed the ballot question. My view is that we have term limits, uh, that they're every four years in Montgomery County. Uh, if people think uh, any member of the county council or any county executive is not fulfilling their uh, duty to the community, uh, they don't need to vote for them. Elections are always competitive. I've never had an uncontested primary. Incumbent council members and an incumbent county executive have been defeated, and if uh, anyone wants to run for office, they're free to do so and encouraged to do so. Every three terms, you're going to be turned over the entire council. No one who you know carries on from before could stay over, and I find that you know not in the best interest of you know county citizens. So what's next? While the county's Board of Elections is reviewing the petition, the county's Charter Commission is scheduled to discuss the term limit ballot question at its August 24th meeting. That's open to the public. In Rockville, I'm Maureen Chaudhary for MyMC Media.